Hey guys, it's May May, and I am so excited to bring you this update. This is an update to the Cricut Joy app. So if you're not familiar with the Cricut Joy, it is the smaller machine. It's this little guy right here, super, super cute, and it sits on my desk, and I love it. And if you're not familiar, they have an app that works with the Joy. It is specific to the Joy. Now, you don't have to just have that app to use the Joy, but they do have one that works specific. You also can use Design Space with the Joy. But I've always been a fan of the Joy app, and now they've made it better. So I want to show you something. Breaking in here to ask you to hit that red subscribe button. It's free. Also hit the bell button beside it. You can help me reach my big goal this year of 400,000 subscribers. Okay, back to crafting. Have you seen all of the insert cards that are out there? We're going to look at them. This is, a, this is a sample of insert cards right here. And Cricut sells this set. Let me show you these sets of cards that have inserts, card bases, and envelopes. They come in a set, like I said, and you use them with this app. Let me just show you, because it's super cool. All right, I'm gonna show you where you go to do this project right here. You're going to open up the app, and at the top, you're gonna see custom insert cards, design your own. I'm not gonna do that. I wanna do that work. I'm gonna scroll. All right, I'm not working with foil. I wanna do insert cards but I wanna do ready to make insert cards. So I'm gonna go right here and click browse. Now, when you come here, I want you to notice there are 1,297 cards to choose from. No, thank you. We're gonna search. I wanna do the search button and I wanna make a card for Valentine's Day. And you can see I've already been practicing. So I'm gonna tap on Valentine, okay? Now, you can scroll through here and find some of the cutest cards, anything you want to do. I'm gonna show you the one that I thought was so cute. I'm gonna scroll till I find it. This one, it says, I love us. I think that is so cute. So we're gonna choose this one. So I'm gonna tap on it and it opens it up and it tells me start making. So first, before I make it, I wanna make sure I have all the supplies I need. And if I come right here, I can see everything listed that I'm gonna need, right? I know I have it, so I'm gonna click start making. Now here's what's cool. I get to choose what size card I want to make. Now my Cricut pre-made bases are four and a quarter by five and a half. So I'm gonna choose that one. And then I'm gonna say next. Now, here I can change the color. So see how they brought up white with a red insert? Let's say I want it to look different. I wanna tell you this, it really doesn't matter. What matters is what you put on your mat. So even though this is white, if I put a black card base on my mat, it's really gonna be black. But the reason this is cool is because I can see the card exactly how it's gonna look by choosing my own colors. For example, for the card, I want mine black, right? For the insert, I'm gonna use red glitter. Now, I don't think they have a red glitter option for me here, so I'm just gonna leave that red, but that's how mine is gonna look, okay? So I'm gonna say yes to this check mark. So this is the front of my card. Now I wanna work on the inside, and this is where the new um, update is so cool. Ready for this? So we're on the inside and it's blank. Now, I know that my car base is black. I'm gonna show you how I will get around that in a little while. So I want you to imagine this as a white panel, okay? Cause that's what it's gonna be. I'm gonna tap on the edit button at the bottom. And when I do, I now can add a message and it, center it, it centers it for us. It puts it where it goes. Like we don't have to do any figuring out. I actually did a video showing you how to do it kind of yourself. And now they've done this update and I'm so happy. So let me show you. So let's pick text. Now I've picked text, it's giving me a text box and I can type in what I want. I'm gonna type in, you are my heart. You can't see it, don't worry, you will in a few minutes because I'll change the color, okay? You are my heart. And then I'm going to type, let me hit return and I'll just type um, happy Valentine's Day. Don't worry, I'll make sure you can see it in just a second. Okay, so I finished typing it, but let me show you how I'm gonna make sure you can see it. I'm gonna come down here to the paint palette, I'm gonna tap on that, and I'm gonna go ahead and change the pen so it will show. Let me find something pale. Now, I'm not gonna be using this pen, I just want you to see it on screen. See if I can find something here, how about yellow? Let's try that one. You can kind of, yeah, you can see that good on camera. Okay, so just for purposes of the video, like I said, I want you to imagine a white panel here. Okay, 
Now this font, do you see that it's kind of open? I don't want that open font. I want a single line font. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna tap it. And first off, I wanna make sure I've got it in a writing font and I did. So let me put it back to writing. Oops, I keep turning it off. Okay. Now what I wanna do is I wanna come to this A and I wanna tap that. Now when I do, it opens up a whole new window. You can see here, I can change the font, the style and the alignment. I wanna change the style of the font here. I want it to be a single line font. Tell you what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use my pencil so I can point and you can see without my hand in the way. I'm gonna tap this A right here and notice how my font changed to a single line and it also gives me these options of different fonts. So maybe I wanted something more fancy, right? Or something more simple even here. But what I love is all these fonts are single line, which means my marker is going to literally write them, not draw them, if that makes sense. Now you can change it. You can do this kind of font. <clears throat> you can hit any of these buttons, by the way. You can change it to all open fonts. You can change it to this font. Now the reason I don't like these kinds of fonts, you'll see here when it pops up, is they're all open and I want it to look like handwriting because my handwriting's so bad, that's one of the reasons I have the joy. I want it to do the work for me. Okay, now watch this. If I grab this box, I have to tap out real quick. If I grab this box and I move it any direction, do you see these red lines that pop up? See that one and then this one? Now it will center it for me. So if I have that red line, it's telling me my font or my wording is centered. Isn't that awesome? I love that. If I wanna be center center, I just grab this little guy again and I bring it down here until I get that crosshair. Now I know it's center, center of the card. Now I don't want that because I want to have room to write my name. So I'm going to slide it up here to the top, okay? Now, let's do this. Let's say you want to add pictures, right? Images. Go down here to this little plus sign, click plus, and see this little guy right here? I'm going to tap that one. And I'll go up here and say, um, let's do heart. I'd already searched heart before. Let's do a heart and let's find what we're looking for. So I'm gonna scroll, this may take a second, it shouldn't take too long. Now I wanna show you, these are cut images, you see that they're cut images, but don't worry, let's grab these guys and let's bring them in, okay? Now I'm gonna shrink them down a little bit because they're a little bit big and I'm gonna move, let's move them down here. Now I don't want them to cut, I want them to draw, so let me show you how you do that. See this little pin that came up right here whenever I check mark down here? I'm gonna tap that and now they're draw. And see how they turned into the same color as my marker? Isn't that awesome? You can do anything you want. Now, if you drag this over here, it's only going to do what you see, okay? So when I do this, see how it kind of goes off the page? I love that because when I make designer paper, I like images to come off the page a bit, right? I'm not gonna do that for today's demonstration. I just wanted to show you that because I think these hearts are really cute here. I also can tap them. I can use this little air, this little circle down here, this button, and I can duplicate them and I can put them over here, right? And I can, um, I think I can flip them. How did I do that a while ago? Let's see, yes, right here. So if you, if you tap on that little round button, okay, this pops up. If I just wanna flip them, look at that. I can flip them. Now here's something I want you to know. When you go to mess with this button, it will sometimes jump, but it, did you see it jump earlier? It'll sometimes jump, but it's fine. Let me show you, I'll do it on this one. So I haven't done this one. So watch what happens when I tap this button. It kind of jumps. Well, not when I tell you it's going to. There it went, do you see the screen jump? And sometimes that'll happen, but it's okay. Once this guy comes up, everything's easy to work with. So let's leave this like this and I'm gonna say yes. Okay, I'm gonna click off of that. This looks like how I want it. Okay, so I'm gonna come up here and say done. Wait, let me see what else is down here. I wanna show you this. See this little guy? If you wanna add a shape, you know how on Design Space on our um, PCs or on our computers, we can add shapes, you can here. And also when you hit add, you have this little option. And this is you can upload SVGs to here. Okay, so if you wanted to upload one of your own SVGs, you could do it there. Isn't that awesome? I'm not gonna do that. I just wanna show you this. All right, so let's say done. Now what we have is the front of our card design, the inside of our card design, and we can say next. Now this is where it's fun. It's gonna tell me, use your insert card stock. It's gonna tell me on a mat. I can change what I need to change, but this is what I want. So now I'm gonna say, oh, I can even do a preview if I want a preview, and this will show me what it's gonna look like on the actual mat, all right? So I'm gonna close this out, and I'm gonna say make it. 
Now I'm gonna open my Joy because, let me move this over a little bit. I had my Joy closed, it was probably asleep. Oh, it, it found it, it woke up. I was bringing that in the screen. Look how I can put all these in the screen. I love my Joy. Okay, now I'm gonna use my um, insert card mat. This is called the card mat. And what I'm gonna do, there's a little protector piece. I'm gonna peel that off, okay? Now what I need you to pay attention to is it's telling me prep card inside and load. And remember how I told you I was gonna do a sneaky little trick? Watch this. So this is my card base, but the inside is black, right? And just a regular old card maker's trick, this is what we do. We glue down a white panel. So what I did was I cut this panel four by five and a quarter, and I'm just gonna glue it in. This actually does a couple things for me. The insert card stock, or these little insert card bases, aren't as rich as I'm used to working with. I like a thicker card stock. I like a card to have some body to it. And by adding this insert and then doing our insert on the front, it really makes this a nice, rich, thick card. Now notice here, it's telling you, remove the protector mat, fold card so inside faces out. Do you see what it's telling you right here? It's, you can't mess up, watch. So I'm gonna fold the inside out because it's gonna do the inside first, okay? Then it shows you how to put it onto your mat. And here's what you do. This little guy has this little lift up piece, okay? You're gonna slide this in just like this. And you wanna make sure you have this all the way to the top and all the way over. And you can be sure of that because you see this blue line, it's perfect. It shows you four and a quarter by five and a half. And then you shut this guy down. And now your card is gonna stick to the front. That's what we want, okay? And now it says load. And this is what I love, you just auto load. Machine ready to auto load. Did you see that? So good, so good. Now, as you know, I had the marker turned yellow in the app. So it's going to tell me load your fine pen yellow in here. I even had picked infusible ink, which doesn't matter. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to load yellow. I'm going to load red. The machine doesn't really care what I load at this point. Also, there's a little magnet here for the door to stay shut. You can put your little, oh, you can't see it. I'll do this side. There's a little magnet. You can put your little blade right there and it'll hold it for you while you're using something else. So when I do this, I just put my pen in and shut the carriage housing, right? And now I can say right down here, go. Okay, so now you see that it's working. And you can see here how long it's gonna take. I love this because we didn't always have that and we just had to kind of sit here and wait, but I know I can get up and move around and I've got time. So look at that. If you're like me and you have atrocious handwriting, which I do, this just makes my day. I can say anything I want and it's neat and clean and laid out well. All right, now what we need to do is we need to tap unload here at the bottom. It's gonna unload this and now it's gonna tell us our next steps, which I adore. I don't even have to think. Now it's telling me carefully peel card from the mat and remove the card. Now refold to the intended position, which is to bring the front back around. So we've got our inside here bring the front back around, and now we're gonna insert it into our card mat the very same way. This time we're just gonna push this up to the top, just like we did. I just like to get it. I like to push this as far up as I can get it because my machine, I don't know if it's a calibration thing or just me, mine doesn't cut centered for me. I just, it just is not that big of a deal. When you see the finished card, I'll show you what I'm talking about, and it really doesn't matter too awful much. So I've got this loaded in, stuck back down, right? And now I just put this into the joy, load it up. Now you're like, but wait, your pen is in there. That's right, don't worry. The, the app is gonna remind me. So if you just watch the app, it's kind of hard to mess this up. Remove pen, insert blade. Yes, joy, I will do that. There we go. And then tell it to go. So all the cutting is done, and now I can tell it to unload. Now, here's what I meant by mine doesn't cut quite center. This is right at the edge on this side, and then I have more room on this side. 
If that bothers you, you can cut this. You'd want to do it before you put your insert in. I don't cut it. I don't stress about it. I just let it ride. Now I'm going to lift this off the mat and I do it very carefully. And I know you're going to see my spatula and go, oh, where can I get that spatula? Y'all, I've had this thing since I first got my very first Cricut expression. I don't think they even come close to making this little spatula anymore, but I love this spatula. It is so flat and it makes life so easy doing this. So I'm just going to carefully lift this up. Now I will tell you, Cricut cardstock is this particular one that they use for these inserts is a textured thinner paper. So don't get, don't get froggy here, take your time. You've done all that work, you want it to come off easy. Okay, so we lift that off and pull this out and you can see that I've got a little bit of my E still stuck here. Again, be gentle. Don't just, don't go crazy because it is a little fragile. So check that out. Now we can put our insert in. Now, you might struggle with this a little bit, but here's how you do it. You wanna kinda get your paper kinda bendy, like this is how I do it, so that the corners can be a little bit malleable and you wanna start, I like to start on the end that does not cut as far away from the edge so I can be a little more gentle with it like so. And you just wanna insert in that corner. So you see how that inserts like that, okay? And then I'm gonna do the same thing over here, but I'm gonna put it in my hand like this, squeeze and push like so until I can get that in. And then I just want to let that kind of naturally pop in like so. I got that one a little bit bent, that was on me. Okay, so then we have this, isn't that beautiful? You probably can't see the glitter as well. Now the other thing I like to do, I like to take my glue and carefully, and I'll tell you why, I like to just kind of send this up inside here and add a little bit of glue. Let me get it where the glue is actually coming out. And I wanna put that glue up there without getting any squish out. You know, I don't want any glue to come out. The reason for that is my glue dries matte and on glitter, you can see it. So I'm always very careful. But like here where this lifts up, I'm gonna go underneath it, add a little glue, hold that down. I won't glue every bit of it. It kind of looks good to have a little lift here and there. But if I feel like something could get damaged in the envelope or something or putting it in and out of envelope, I will kind of stick it down just like that. But it don't go too crazy. I love how that looks. So look, I love us. And then here's our card. And I even have room to write. But I'll tell you it would be even cuter. Put a photo in here. And it could be a photo they could take out and use again. Wouldn't that be cute? Now, hold on. This is cute, but look what I did. This is my actual Valentine's Day card to Vinny, and I decorated the envelope, and I wanna show you how to do that too. Now, this one has more of a personal message inside. That's why we remade one, but it, the one I did looks just like this, but I just wrote, you know, actual message for me. So let me show you how to do the envelope. So I've cleaned off my mat, and I know what you're thinking. Can you use the cuts that were on the mat? You absolutely can. You have the words, you know, I love us, cut out laying on the mat, you can use that on another project. That's super cool. All right, so back to our app, okay? I'm going to say done up here in the corner. Here's what's awesome, you can save this. Now I'm not going to because I saved my other one, so I don't need to save this one. So I'm gonna say don't save, but you can save it and it'll go to your stuff, which is really cool. Now I'm gonna go home, okay? So did I go home? Oh, let me say cancel and then go back. Okay, now what I wanna do, this is the insert cards. I don't wanna work from here. I wanna scroll up past labels, past iron-on, past vinyl to paper crafts, design your own. So now I'm gonna tap right here and I wanna start designing. Now I'm gonna be using an um, envelope that is gonna be landscape orientation. It's gonna be like this. So I wanna choose landscape, okay? And then down here, I'm gonna scoot this just a little bit so you can see it and I'm gonna use my pin here. Down here, you can see the dimensions of my envelope. Well, I'm going to change this one because it's too big. So I tapped on it and I'm going to tap the keyboard. By the way, you don't have to use an eye pen. You can use your fingers or an eye pencil. I'm just doing it so my hands stay out of the way. So what I want to do here is I want to back up over that measurement and I want to change it to 5.5 because that's the size of my envelope and say done at the top. And I'll bring this back a little bit. Okay, so now I have a four and a quarter by five and a half space envelope, and I'm gonna say next. And now I can add anything I want. I can add images, I can add wording, text, whatever. We're gonna do image first, because I wanna show you this, it's really cute. I'm gonna choose love, which I've already searched before, because I made that envelope. And I'm gonna scroll a little bit. Let me let this pop up. I have to be honest, y'all. 
our weather's been rough and our internet all across this place is really slow. So you can see how my iPad is loading so slow. It's really, really slow lately, but we'll get there. No big deal. Okay, so I thought that this one was so cute. So I'm gonna tap on that and tell it to insert or hit the check mark. And then I just took it and kind of stretched it just a little bit, put it there in the middle and let's tap off. I need to tell it to be a writing. Right now it's cutting. I want it to be a writing image. So I'm gonna tap that and now it will write, okay? And now I wanna add again, I'm gonna come to add. I wanna add text. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna type, I'll go right here, I'm gonna type May May, just like that, okay? And then I'm gonna move this up here and I'm gonna stretch it, but watch what happens. Sometimes it jumps a little bit when I go to stretch. Oh, it didn't do too bad that time. So I'm gonna do it like this, okay? I'm gonna tap off and now I'm gonna, I wanna make sure I have it writing. If you don't change it to writing, it's gonna cut, okay? So I'm changing it to writing and now I wanna change the font. And I thought this font was really pretty. I'm gonna go to our writing style here and I'm gonna scroll, and I thought this one kind of matched that middle there, so I did my name, and then I can stretch it again if I need to, I can place it where I want it, if I want it to go like that, and then I'm gonna add Vinny. So let's go back, let's go add, text, type, Vinny, which it always wants to say Bonnie, today it didn't, cool. All right, and then I'm gonna move this guy down, stretch it out a little bit, tap off, tell it be writing, tell it to um, go to the writing fonts. I'm doing a little quicker because you've seen all this. Pick the same font, say okay, resize it to be about the size of mine at the top, and then just place it where I want it. It feels a little smaller than mine, let me check. No, we're about right. I sometimes will just lay it over, like I'll check the N to the M and see if they're about right, and then that's what I want on my envelope. So I'm gonna say done and I'm ready to go. So here's what I did, okay? I used my card mat and I took the envelope, and you really don't have to do this, but I did it. I tucked the flap down inside here, just like it was a card. And I just tucked that in like that. Okay, just laid it on like that and stuck it down. And now I'm gonna say next. Now I need to select my material. I just called this deluxe paper because it's just gonna write and not cut, so it really doesn't matter. It's gonna be on a mat and I don't need to mirror it, so I'm gonna say make it, and now it's gonna tell me what to do. Again, I'm gonna use red ink, although it's gonna tell me to use black because I had I designed it in black. So it says prep, prep and load the mat, which I've done, or prepped it, now let's load it. It's gonna run it through and make sure it's got enough material. And now it's gonna tell me to change to the black pen, but I'm using red. If for some reason you want to change that, you can tap change right here and tell it that you're using a different kind of pen. Like if, if I wasn't using an extra fine, which is this an extra fine? Let me check. Yeah, if I wasn't using extra fine, I could change it, but we are, okay? So now I'm gonna take this guy out, put him here, cause Cricut's telling me to do that. Load that one and then tell it to go. we go. I'm going to unload and I'm going to take my envelope off the mat carefully. It's envelope paper. So don't just rip. See how it stuck pretty good. Love to be easy. There we go. And there is my envelope. Are you kidding? I could never write that cute. I have the worst, worst handwriting. So now I have Mamey Loves Vinny and, oh, I didn't use the right one. <laughs> Did I use the right one on my other one? Yeah, look. Okay. I picked the wrong one. So pay attention. I literally was going to say to you guys, the worst thing, the only thing you really have to pay attention to is spelling, and I'm the worst about it. But you see on the one that I am actually giving him, I use the, the image that says loves, not just love. So make sure, check your spelling, check your, that's the worst part. And trust me, I'm the worst at spelling. All right, and then you can load this little guy into your, well, you need to sign it, right? Your sweet, sweet nothings in there. And then there's your Valentine card, and this works for anything. You can even just do addresses. I did this to decorate it because I'm gonna hand it to him. But you can do addresses, you can do um, special notes, anything you want to do. It is so, so cool. I love the Joy app. 
some people don't use it very much. I'm not going to save it again. I don't need to. I've already done it. But a lot of people don't use this app very much, and I love it. So I hope you guys like this too. Now, everything I use today, I'm going to link below. I'm even going to link my iPad because I get so many questions about what iPad I'm using and what cover I use. I'm going to link all that in the description for you guys if you're interested. And um, until next time, hey, don't forget to subscribe. I'm trying to get to 400,000 this year, and we got to start early if we're going to make it, right? That's It's a lofty goal, but I really want to do it. So don't forget to hit that red button. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. And if you'll click the bell and tell it to give you notifications, you'll know whenever I post a video. Thanks so much for being here today. And until next time, bye now.